Okay, Bill, I'm going to take you through how to get to where all your uh, products are basically placed in case you want to delete a product or if you want to change a description or even change a price on a particular product uh, just so you really have a better idea of what's going on back there. So what we're going to do is um, I will attach also with the email that I send this in, a um, document with your passwords and usernames. But basically what we're going to do is go to HTTP early photography.com forward slash photography forward slash WP uh, hyphen and admin. So basically that's uh, burnleyphotography.com forward slash photography forward slash WP admin. And then you click enter or return. And it should bring you just a moment here to uh, this page. And it'll say WordPress. And then you'll see a username and a password section. The username and password are listed on that piece of that document that I'll send along with this. But uh, for username, we got Burley, and then for password, we'll let you look at that sheet. You click on login, wait for it, and then you'll become to your dashboard here. And basically, there's nothing you really have to worry about at this area. What we're going to be concerned with is over here. So I'll highlight this with my mouse, kind of. Uh, over here, it's going to be products, sales, products, uh, categories, variations, marketing, settings, upgrades, etc. Now you'll be getting all your sales through PayPal, so you'll be able to basically monitor all that stuff through PayPal. But basically what you'll be coming in here for is, that, like I said, if you want to change a product or a price, or you can see your sales in here, and what you'll see, let's go ahead and do it, we'll click over here to the left, you don't have to worry about posts, media, links, pages. Basically, those are just other things that come with the content management system. The only one we're going to be concerned with is probably sales, products, and basically those two. So we'll click on sales over here on the left. And it'll bring you to a page. It'll basically tell you what you got, 199 products, uh, 10 different groups, one variation. A variation is basically the attributes that uh, are all the different sizes and their pricing according to those sizes and those are entered in for each individual product so each product has what is it to be like 14 different possible attributes I think that's what it is um, with the variations of size so you can see you have one sale in here it's a test product for myself and uh, as soon as you're done with that you can delete it over here or you can check it over here and do one of the bulk actions say order received, accepted payment, job uh, dispatched, closed order or delete and also you can change the status right over here so you can say order received uh, and this one is a closed order because it's been shipped and done ready to go over here down on the left you'll see download CSV file basically that's an Excel type file and uh, you can download that if you want to keep something for your records. So this is kind of a handy little spot to see all your orders. Now you will see orders in here that people that got to the shopping cart but didn't actually make the purchase. So you'll get from PayPal exactly, you'll get an email uh, to your inbox. It'll say somebody ordered something and you'll go to PayPal to find out what that order is and fulfill that order. Here is just another backup area because this tracks anybody that put anything in their shopping cart. So basically that's the sales area. Nothing too spectacular about this. Um, now you can also add a new product from this area by clicking over here on add new product. But we'll go into the products area so you can take a look at that. So go over to the left and you click on products. And wait for it. And basically now you're going to get a list of all your products here on the left. So here's all your products. Now they're in pages, so you've got 20 pages of products. 
Now you'll see that I have a test in here. We'll get rid of that before we go live. But uh, you can have the option of editing, deleting, viewing, or duplicate. Uh, probably duplicate, you're not going to be too concerned with. If you click on view, you'll see that it'll bring you up to the actual page where you can see the actual uh, product and what it's looking like. And then you can also check and see the attributes, which you see right here. So that's the attributes, which is the different sizes and they have different pricing. So we'll click out of there and go back to the main site here. And we'll uh, first edit a product. So you click on edit. And then you can see you can change the product name. I wouldn't recommend that only because the product name corresponds to the actual photo in the folder of storms. So f just for your for ease, for your ease, so you can coordinate everything. Uh, the price is the base price. That's the lowest price. And then if we scroll down here, we'll see we have a description area. So you could add a description to each photo. I kind of will leave that up to you. That may be something you do want to do here. Uh, then you have categories and tags. And you can see that it's tagged under the category of storms. And then you can see all the other categories. Do not worry about brands. That's just an example tag. It's a default. And we don't even need to worry about that. Uh, and product tags, don't worry about those as well. Don't worry about price, stock, or control. We can change certain things like tax and things like that if you want to. But uh, the way it's set up right now, we're not worrying about that. Same, don't worry with shipping details. It's all set up with flat shipping. Um, and, it very, and the way it will reflect the shipping is down here in the attributes, which you'll see. So variation control is basically the attributes. Uh, variations attributes and you can see that we have here uh, sizes unframed framed all the different pricing and then you'll see underneath it once you select a size and you come down here and you can see that all the different uh, sizes and then the price that corresponds so 85 is the lowest and then we will, you'll have to go through if you're entering a new product or changing the product is to make sure, or you're changing the uh, price of a size, to make sure you change these over here on the right as well. So we'll scroll down and advanced options, do not worry about that. That's just meta tag data that we don't need to worry about. Product images, so you could add another product image by clicking select files, or you can edit by pressing on, clicking on edit when you roll over one of the images. Once you're done, you click edit product, and you wait for it and it'll update the product now let's go real quick through adding a new product we'll click on add new product up here and you would enter your product name you basically are going to fill in the fields product name stock and keep and unit so basically these will be the same so you probably put here let's see storms 99 and then you want to put storms 99 here as well then your base price, which is probably going to be $85, if pricing stays the same. Enter your description here. And then scroll down. And you select your category, so Storm Suite. Keep scrolling down. You don't need to worry about any of that. And then the sizing is right here under Variation Control. So you click that, and you'll get a drop down here. And now you'll see what the pricing looks like. So you'd have to change... Through this system, you have to change everything that's not going to be $85. So since this one's 105, we've got to enter in 105, 105, 105, 105, 175, 175, 175, 305, 305, 305, 305. And so once we got that set up, then we scroll down here and you'd select your files to upload an image. So we'll just upload a quick image here doesn't really matter for this aspect what it is and we are looking good and we'll just click add product and now you'll see on the left here here's our new product and we can edit delete view or duplicate so we'll delete in this case because we don't want that in there but that's basically looking at your products and your sales and editing um, products